It is really cold outside, but that does not mean you can't get your Christmas tree. And honestly, when you think about it, having a real Christmas tree makes Christmas real, I should say. <laughs> Jane joining me here this morning, and she knows a lot more about the real Christmas trees than I do. Good morning to you. Good morning. Tell us all about the tools you need in order to uh, trim down the Christmas tree. Sure. To go out and cut your own Christmas tree, it's not that tough. <laughs> you come out to a farm like Sugar Pine, we hand you a saw, we give you a sled or a cart, depending on the size of tree you're after, and a map and send you out into the fields and you cut it down and bring it back up here and we help you get it ready to take it home. What are some of the stories you hear? I mean, because when you look on Facebook, you see families, you know, it's a tradition. This is something that people love to do. You're right. It's, it's a lot more than just a Christmas tree. It's the whole experience of coming out to a farm. So it's the, the whole fun experience of going out and choosing the tree yeah. from all the choices, the actual fun of cutting it down, playing in the snow. <laughs> um, at a farm like this, we have hay wagon rides and you can make s'mores and hot chocolate. So it's about the whole day at the farm, not just the tree. All right, what type of Christmas trees can folks get when they come out here to Sugar Pines? Sure. Out in our fields, we have Fraser fir, Canaan fir, and blue spruce to cut. And then here in the barn, we also have Fraser fir, some con color fir, spruce trees, white pine, scotch pine, so all types. All right. If anyone's interested in coming out here, how can they get in contact with you guys? Uh, we have a website, www.sugarpinesfarm.com, that has directions. Um, we're on Mulberry Road in Chesterland. So you you know, GPS, <laughs> find us, 729-1019, um, phone number, and, of course, email and social media. All right. Well, thank you so much.